Hello, welcome to the channel. Today we're talking about new slide options. As far as new slides, start from the home ribbon, and you can actually insert a new slide in three different areas. You can add it in the new in the thumbnail section, thumbnail pane. You can add it in the editing area, or you can even add it in the slide sorter area. And we're going to use the shortcut Control M, as in mic, which really means more more slides. So if I hit Control M, got new slides. I'm in slide sorter. I go back to the edit view. Let's delete these. From here, if you press Control M, if you look in the thumbnail pane, you see I've got two slides because I've made the command twice. If we delete those and just click on new slide, and you see the shortcut control N as it might, you can do it from that point also. So those are the three areas that you can insert a new slide. Now what I want to show you is that once you've done that a few times, so let's do it five times. And I'll narrow this a little bit. Then you can grab all the slides. And, and what I like to do is a couple things. I like to press Control C, which is same as copy. And then duplicate. And then duplicate again. And then duplicate again. So now you see I have 21 slides. You say, okay, why do you want to do this? Because once I start formatting them, say I got some fancy format. I don't know. I want a gradient. And I want to change that and change that. Then I've got enough slides to cover my ideas. Typically, your slideshow would be five to 10 slides, depending on how complex you want it to be, wanted it to be. But if it was 15 slides, you've already got pre-formatted slides. Or if it's 30, but not, now you got a problem. So always try to have more formatted slides than what you think you'll need. Because if it's, if it's got a picture in here and you got something else in here, then that's just more work to recreate your background. So there's two items there. Now what do we want to go over? So let's delete all of these. And sort of new slide. And let's call this the basic new slide. There are eight items that you can do or that you can insert into the new slide. Stock images. Just pick one, the guy working. Okay, let's delete that. Oh, uh, well, let's just keep that. Another one would be videos. I believe this is videos. No, this is pictures. Let's find a picture real quick. All right, here's a screenshot of something. Looks like, oh, I know it's uh, it's a proctoring that I was managing. So there's an image shows his eyes and his hands, and here's the exam that's going on. So we we'll answer another new slide. Insert an icon. And let's just pick this continent of Africa. Okay, then you can 
make it and put it wherever you want. Smart art graphic. Gotta get smarter on this one. You have all these different options and a lot more, a lot more options. Let's go with the generic board chart. And so, I can see it now. Over here, it'll be a process flow. Insert cameo. I'm not sure if this is going to work since I'm using Zoom to record this, but let's see. Let's try. Oh, let's turn it on. Yes, cameras are used by another app. Well, let's go over here and stop the video in this application and let's see if it'll turn on. Oh, there it is. I've actually been wanting to use this instead of Zoom's real small cameo in the corner. Let's see if we turn Zoom back on what happens. Okay, it takes over. The next one is, oh, we just did Cameo. Oh, I'm sorry, this is video. I think this is a real small video here. A real short video. And you can tell it's a video because you got the motion button for the, or the play button. Next one is insert a table. This is going to insert a blank table. Let's go with four columns and two rows. There it is there. So there's your column. And last but not least, insert a chart. You can pick your chart. Let's go with something kind of simple, like a line chart. And it will insert the basic chart and you can modify it as you see or as you can based on the data that you have. So those are the eight choices that you have from the basic or the default insert new slide. Now, if you go back to the menu, there are nine different things that you can use. The default is title and content. That's the one we just selected. You can see how it keeps increasing. That's 12. Now it will be 13. But we have other choices. We have title slide, which is or whatever you want to put in the title slide. For this particular presentation, I have the title here in this box this item and then a graphic we've already gone over title and content section header we'll talk about sections in just a moment two content there's two content slide you have a title and then you got your eight choices in and two columnar boxes that are equal size or equal equally spaced, and you can make them different sizes if you want, depending on your data.
uh, comparison. I have not played with that one. That'd be one. That would be a neat one to play with. Title only. If you just want it. Uh, It may be a graphic, or maybe nothing. And you could also always use word art instead of just the generic fonts in your titles. Blank, we'll come back to that one. Okay, picture with caption. This is a picture and also like a title here and some text. So you actually get three items, similar to, to what I did on this very first slide here. But I just Filtered manually. Content with caption. Basically the same as the previous one, except you have eight choices that you can import an object or a file. And then the last one, blank, is just as it said, it's blank. What I like to do with this one. If I have a lot of photos to bring over manually, if I'm not using the photo album feature, I will insert a box, insert a text box, basically the full size of the slide. And then when you, when you copy the photo, click inside the box and it will resize the photo to the size of the box. Otherwise, it gets to be two or three times the size of the slide and you've got to slide it down and you know reposition it. So it's just more work. So I found that little feature, a little trick by accident. So those are the nine options you have here or nine themes as they call it. Duplicate, select the slide. That's nothing more than a copy. You can use the copy feature here. Or you can use Control C like in Charlie or copy. Uh, slash some outline we've discussed in our previous video on outlines. And then reuse slides. I'm not really sure what that is there. Oh, it's from another slide. It's from another presentation. So you browse to the presentation and you're basically copying slides from another presentation to use in this presentation. So we talked about the layout or the themes, resetting, clears everything, sections. Played around with this. What a section will do, if you'll note here in the, okay, let's just call this test. If you notice here in the thumbnail pane, We have a section here called test and you can add more slides and you can format them but what's neat is that you can collapse these and not see them as you're doing your work and that's would have been a nice feature to have many years ago so if you go to section you can Collapse all, open your default section, which is the first 19, and have the section, the three slide section collapsed. Or you could go back, collapse all, and open just your section kind of test. And as you can see, you got a lot of options here. You can collapse all, you can expand all, you can rename a section, add another section, or remove all sections. So what it does, it, it keeps your thumbnails, thumbnail pane from getting so large, like one of my files, I've got a hundred and something slides in it where I build my thumbnails for this particular channel. You could have maybe your current view or section open, say maybe for the next five weeks, and collapse all the other hundreds or so slides that you really don't need to see. So that would be neat, 
especially if you had if your sections were set up as custom shows you could have one section for your work on monday another section for your work on tuesday another section for your work on wednesday or, or something similar and just work on that section without seeing all this other stuff that could be noise to you so they, those are sections So that's really it for inserting a new slide. You have the default with eight ways you can insert an object or a file. And then there are nine themes where you can set up or insert different types of new slides. We've talked about making your backgrounds as groups, making more slides than what you think you'll need. So you won't have to go back and format new slides, especially if, if the formatting is somewhat complex, say if it's more than just a color, then that just is time that could be saved. We've talked about using a full slide text box to insert slides that are intended to be full slide. We've talked about using the shortcut control M as in more to add a new slide. And we've gone through the nine themes of new slides. And we've also shown you that you can add a new slide either in the thumbnail pane, the edit section, or slide sorter. So either one works. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.